is an ordinary matte emulsion. I'm just going to apply some paste there. And then here, I'm just going to touch it with some emulsion paint on the roller. So, with this matte emulsion, when you're decorating, you may be applying wallpaper so the paste gets onto the surface and before you come back to trim your paper because you'll be you're putting your paper on so you may trim the top the sides are touching usually they're on for a minute or two before you can either trim or if you touch the ceiling with your paint before you can get back up to it with the cloth so with a damp cloth you want to start to remove the paste and because this has been on a minute or two it will have started to soften the paint so as you're wiping off what will tend to happen is you'll be starting to wipe some of the emulsion paint with the paint it's a lot worse can't rub it out you end up taking the emulsion paint off and some of the paint can still be left in the surface so then inevitable you have to come back and touch up go up to your ceiling and touch up or touch up your walls Beyond that, it's then generally keeping this clean, so longevity. Um, certain areas around light switches can get dirty very quick. A typical stain that you may find is tea, where the old tea bag to the bin and it misses so then what you need to do is go and get yourself a cloth a clean cloth as in not something that's used in the kitchen because it could be contaminated with grease so then you've got your clean cloth it's dampened and you want to wipe it out it's only been on there less than a minute and already it's stained it So having to touch it up as well. Even covings, corners especially, where you get cobwebs and you try and knock them back. With a matte emulsion, it can get ingrained into the surface. You can see the tea stain there. And then that's where the paint was. And then this is where the paste is. So it's softened it off you can see how it's absorbed the moisture so it can be a bit of maintenance with it but then again on a large flat ceiling sometimes a paint like this is good because the sheen the amount of sheen that's in it there is nothing some matte paints, vinyl paints, can have a slight sheen, so off across a, a large ceiling can look quite bad. I've coated this board up now. On this left side, I've just got Dulux Easy Care, and on this right side here, I've got the Valspar Scrubbable Matte. Both mattes, both pure brilliant white. I've left the ordinary emulsion paint the that's the tea stain that's where the emulsion paint on the roller was left a slight mark and the paste has dried back 
that was wiped off. But again, it's left a little bit of paint missing. I'll repeat the process again. Applying the paste first, because generally, when you're papering, whether it be paste the wall or paste the paper, it'll sit on the longest. You're trimming, you're putting the paper on. And with emulsion paint, I'll just touch it the same. But when that happens, usually you'll be putting your roller down, then you'll be getting your cloth. You may have to go up your steps to get to the ceiling again. So then you'll go to wipe it with your cloth. So starting with the paste first, that comes off no problem. Not wetting it at all. Whereas it will soak into the earth. So then you've got your cloth, you've gone up your steps and you need to get this off. Cleaning a broad area. And again, with this side. to come out the beauty with this one is you can scrub it a little bit harder virtually out. Strong colours will always be harder to get out. Certain reds and blues very strong. So we'll try the tea bag. Again, you'd go off, you'd get your clean cloth. And then you come to wipe it. Okay, so I'll leave those to dry and we'll come back. If we take a closer look, so the emulsion paint has not discoloured or anything. Whereas you can see that's still a bit damp. Took a little bit of emulsion off. Come down to where the rollers were. Paint's gone. I'll right, take a look up there. No discoloration, that's all nice and dry. Bit of discoloration there where a white cross, but everything on this side. Down where this paint is, so the emulsion across both sides, that's gone. This tea stain, just 
just slightly, slightly just running up here but it's hardly visible whatsoever. That's cleaned out quite well. But then on this side you can see where the stain, the tea stain is sitting. Now this isn't necessarily stain resistant but it should be able to get that out. So try a bit of detergent first. Say detergent. This is just mild washing up liquid. We'll try a bit here. seem to be wanting to come out. So what I will try, which I'll just undo the lid, is a little bit of mild bleach. So I've got a spot of bleach on my finger there. Just have a go at this. Right before your very eyes, it's gone. Get some more bleach on my finger, and we'll have a go at this other stain that's on the ordinary emulsion. So I've rubbed that out, but also I've now got paint on the cloth. Which you can't quite see on there, but it's just sitting. That's what I was looking at before. So they're just there. So you might be able to remove the stains and wipe the majority of things out. But at the end of the day, all you're doing is taking the emulsion paint off. So you would have to touch up certainly on this mat. Whereas something like this, or this, it's a lot easier to work with. Lasts a long time.